Hello, and welcome to another episode of Beat Tech. In this episode, we'll be working on the 260Z again, and we'll be working on the adapter for the CD009 six-speed from the 350Z uh, to turn it into an all-wheel drive platform. So right here, we have uh, an old CD009 from the junkyard that we're using as our, our template for building this. You can see this shiny aluminum piece on here is from S1 Sequential and it is a sequential shifter uh, kit for this transmission. And uh, I put it on there because I want to make sure that the adapter uh, clears this um, shifter and this is part that it has to clear uh, to work. So what we have here um, that I've already done is I've taken the back cover off from the transmission here and I've used the whole pattern on a one inch um, piece of aluminum here to get all these holes drilled. And it's an uh, inch thick, half of inch is at 12 millimeters and the other uh, half of inch is at eight millimeters going through here. The eight millimeter side, which is gonna be the top. And the 12 millimeter side, which is gonna be the bottom. And then I, on my uh, mini lathe here, which is from Sherline. I machined some, um, I took some aluminum tube stock and I machined it um, so that it's, it's very flat on this side. And then on this side, you can see we have an intersection which has a smaller diameter. And the reason for that is so that it can go over to here, and then I can have all these dowels with their eight millimeters down the center. So we'll have eight millimeter rod um, going through here, all the way um, into the main threaded parts of the transmission. And um, that will hold um, this back section on, and it will also bolt on this adapter plate for the transfer case. Once we have all these installed, so let's just go ahead and start installing them. I'm going to skip the last one because I can tell already that it's not going to clear the edge of this. We're going to have to put this in the mill and take probably three millimeters off this, this top section right here uh, so we can clear that. These are basically serving as a dowel at the end of the day. So what's gonna happen is once these, once we like the placement and we have the transfer case mounted and we, we love the alignment, then what it'll actually do is um, we'll weld up these together um, while it's on there in the right position, and it'll make an entire case out of this whole thing. So let me put you on the stand here, and then we will continue to assemble this. So I have some eight millimeter bolts here. Um, they're just gonna use to help align this along the way. The 12 millimeter side that we'll put down. And try to orient it correctly, of course. All right, as you can see, um, it's like such a tight fit that actually had, even though these are not threaded, um, had to use the, the Allen key to get some of these on, but this should give you a nice feel um, for what things are going to look like. Get you back off the stand here, so we can take a look around. So we're gonna put threaded rod all the way through here. So right now you can see it's pretty wobbly still. Um, but that should tighten things up nicely. And then we'll weld um, some 
pieces of aluminum, um, keeping access to these areas in between um, to make this nice and strong. And we'll clearance right here and up for our last dowel there. And then the transfer case will sit on top here and send the shaft forward here um, to drive the front wheels. So once we're, we're happy with the way this is mounted, it's uh, hardened in place, and then we'll get our template on here, the transfer case, which we'll grab in a second here. Here's the front cover from the transfer case. It's gonna go on here like this. See some of these bolts are gonna um, have to actually recess those into here. Well, it won't be those bolts, it'll be the threaded rod of course, but. So we'll have a custom shaft that links these two down the center here and then our output shaft going to the front wheels will go here our rear output shaft just goes straight back Let's see a few of these are gonna have to be uh clearanced Resist. Like those ones down there. All right. Now the next steps that we'll do is we'll, we're gonna test fitment on the new transmission over there, just to make sure everything is the same uh, for the new transmission. And what we'll actually probably do um, is um, do a lot more of the test fitment and start doing that on the new transmission because that's the, ultimately the one we wanna use. And we want to make sure, even though there's probably minimal differences between the two transmissions, we do want to make things line up as, as perfectly as possible. All right. Um, thanks for checking in. And until next time.